Yo! Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, uh, this is intended for my subscribers who always message and ask me questions about how to study in Korea. So for today's video, I'm going to tell you how to get a scholarship here in Korea. So if you're interested, then continue watching. This is Donna, your Visayang informant here in South Korea. Gotcha! So this video is uh, intended for those people who want to come here and get a scholarship to study associate and bachelor's degree in Korea. I know a lot of you guys or my subscribers keep on asking me, how can we get scholarship? Give me information about how can we study in Korea? what university, where, and so on. So, so this video is for you. So in this, uh, this time, I'll be talking about uh, eligibility of uh, scholarship, Korean scholarship. So kung sino-sino ba ang pwedeng mag-avail ng scholarship. Number two, the required documents. So anong, ano, ano bang dokumento ang kailangan yung i-prepare para makapag-avail sa scholarship na ito. And by the way, this scholarship that I'm talking about is for this year, 2021. So if you're planning to study here in Korea, then this video is for you. Number three, the selection procedure. So just like any other scholarship, they have different processes kung paano ba kayo, kung paano ba kayo pipiliin. So today, discuss ko yan sa inyo. Number four is period of scholarship. So how long are they going to support you with uh, their scholarship? And number five, which is I think the most important thing, is the number of scholarship grants. So actually this one is for some, uh, not only for Filipinos, but also for other countries, other partner uh, countries uh, in yeah, other partner countries. So each country has a different number of scholarship grants. So today, uh, I'm gonna show you about uh, Philippines. So let's go. So first thing, dapat nating is search ang GKS or Global Korea Scholarship. Na kung saan dito natin makikita ang mga uh, information related to the scholarship, the how and what, and all of the information that you have to know kung gusto mong mag-aral dito sa Korea. So the first thing that we have to do is to go to Google. So let's go to Google. So again, let's go to Google and we have to type GKS. So makikita natin dyan sa result J. J GKS Scholarship 2021 Requirements. So, it click natin. So, you will be directed to okay, the result which is Global Korea Scholarship Study in Korea and run by Korean government. So, you have to click here the second uh, actually, this, these are all the same. So, you have to click the second one. So, if you're gonna click, you will be uh, redirected to this uh, website. So, uh, on the on the upper part, you can choose any language depending on uh, which country you come from. So for for today, uh, English yung gagamitin natin kasi wala namang Filipino na language ang um, na uh, option dito. So let's go for English. And what are the main thing na dapat niyong malaman if you want to avail this scholarship? So first thing. So here, uh, meron tayo dito sa uh, meron tayo dito study in Korea. University and college scholarships, online application, study Korean, community online consultation, education fair, and career in Korea. So, since you are interested in scholarship, let's go for uh, scholarship. Just click here. Okay, so here. And then, uh, ano bang meron dito? Uh, GKS Notice. So, dito makikita natin ang title niya. 2021 Global Korea Scholarship for Undergraduate Degrees. Embassy and University Track. So, Embassy Track. So, uh, mababasa nyo dito na uh, Korean government invites 125 international students from 67 countries 
who wish to pursue a bachelor's degree in Korea. So, 125 international students, gaya ng sinabi ko kanina sa iba't ibang bansa na partner ng Korea. Kaya lang, sa 125 students na ito, is it is already divided in different countries. So, in Philippines, ilan ba ang scholarship grant na ibibigay nila? So, later, titingnan natin, titingnan natin yan. So, for university track, Korean government invites 60 international students from 72 countries uh, who wish to pursue a bachelor's degree for engineering or nature science majors. And also 35 international students from 17 countries who wish to pursue an associate degree in Korea. So, dito guys, nagbibigay sila ng scholarship in both associate and bachelor's degree. For the bachelor's degree, ang binibigyan lang nila ng scholarship is yung uh, mga taong gustong kumuha ng engineering related or nat uh, nature science majors related. So, dun lang sila nagbibigay ng scholarship. Okay, so embassy track and university track. So in, in this uh, in this time, okay. So uh, the most uh, the most important thing in this part is it is expected to be around late September of October. Yung first round ng selection nila. So uh, prior to that month, dapat kompleto na yung dokumento niyo uh, bago kayo mag-apply. So, ano, ba, ano, ano bang mga doc documents at saan ba tayo pupunta? So, let's continue. So, we have here, okay, you have here the attached file na kung saan makikita nyo ang mga information na dapat nyo malaman. So, sa attached file, we have 2021 GKSU Application Guidelines uh, in Korean. So, uh, kung alam nyo naman yung Korean, so i-click nyo. Pero for now, again, English yung gagamitin natin. So, i-click natin yung pangalawa. So, after clicking that, you will download the PDF file which contains all the information as I've said. So, let's go to the information. So, here is the PDF file. So, in title, we have here the Global uh, Korea Scholarship and the 2021 Global Korea Scholarship application guidelines for undergraduate degrees okay so first uh, let's begin so scroll nyo lang yan sa mga dapat nyo malaman so program objectives so dito nyo malalaman kung anong objective nila kung bakit sila nagbibigay ng mga scholarship so first one is we have uh available programs as i said they have a program for bachelor's degree which is a total of five years kasi uh, four years for undergraduate degree plus one year korean language program so at the same time you will be studying korean language program and then for associate naman uh, total of three to four years which is uh, also the same you, you have to study for one year a Korean language program plus two to three years of associate degrees. So, ito na yung number ng uh, expected grantees. So, uh, number of grantees, we have 115. Okay, general and then overseas Korean, 10, a total of 125. So, sa, uh, sa iba ba, makikita nyo dito ang embassy truck quota for general applicants. So, uh, nakasaad dito each country kung ilan ba ang ang binibigay nila na scholarship. So, hanapin natin yung Philippines. So, Afghanistan. Actually, arranged siya in order. So, hindi kayo mahihirapan. So, here. Ito ang Philippines. So, ang quota pala niya is only two grantees. So, dalawa, dalawa lang yun. So, matira matibay. So, you have to really give your best when you apply for a scholarship. So, dalawa lang siya. Okay? So, Yes. Okay. For the associate degree naman is uh, 37 candidates from 17 countries. So, ganun din. Dalawa rin yung, dalawa rin yung uh, bibigyan nila ng scholarship. So, sa una pala is yun yung university. So, sa associate, dalawa rin. 
Depende sa inyo kung ano bang kukunin nyo. It's either uh, associate or bachelor's degree. Okay. And, uh, uh, depende rin kung saan kayong, uh, saan kayo gustong mag-aral. Nakasaad din dito ang different kinds of uh, university uh, sa Korea. So, we have here type A. So, 14 institutions yun. Gaya ng Ajo University, Doksong University for Women, at ano-ano pa. So, type B, meron ding uh, 24 institution na kung saan pwede kayong mamili. So, meron dyan yung Busan University of Foreign Studies. So, I suggest if you, uh, before searching for the university name, kailangan nyo munang uh, i-finalize kung anong city kayong mag-aaral. So, after that, you can search about the university in, in that uh, certain city. Okay. So, ito na. Uh, eligibility. Sino ba yung, uh, sino ba ang pwedeng mag, uh, mag-avail ng scholarship na ito? So, first, all applicants and their parents must be citizens of JKS programs partner countries that are invited to take part in this program and must not hold a Korean citizenship. So, since included ang Philippines, so pwede tayong makapag-avail. And then, uh, you have to make sure na hindi kayo Korean citizen. Number two, Korean citizens and dual citizenship holders, hindi rin pwede. And number three, applicants and their parents who had previously held Korean citizenship must submit the document that proves their renunciation uh, of Korean citizenship. So, hindi talaga pwede na meron kayong uh, Korean citizenship. So, dapat, ang nationality nyo ay dapat uh, nabilong lang dun sa partner, uh, part, partner country ng GKS. Age. Meron din silang age na uh, nire-require. So, it must be under 25 years of age as of March 1, 2021. So, dapat you are born after uh, March 1, 1996. Okay, it must be under, under 25. So, high school graduates or expected graduates. So, um, makikita nyo din ang ibang information. So, go over na lang. So, sa grades. So, GPA or the grade point average or the uh, CGPA or cumulative overall grade point average. So, sa ibaba ng, uh, sa, sa iba ba ng guidelines na ito is meron silang table na kung saan there is like conversion depending on the grading system of your country. So, you have to go over to that later on uh, if you can avail or if you are qualified for the required uh, GPA. So, all applicants must have maintained the overall grade point average equivalent to or higher than any one of the following from their respective universities. So, for the bachelor's degree, Applicant, 80% or above on a 100-point scale. So, dapat 80% yung grade nyo. Or be ranked within the top 20% within one's class. So, it must be higher talaga. So, for the associate degree naman, 75 lang. 75% or above on a 100-point scale. Or be ranked with within the top 25 within the class. So, refer to the Appendix A for the GPA conversion table as I mentioned earlier. So, sa health, it is very important as well, especially now we are in the middle of a global pandemic. So, all applicants must be in good health, both mentally and physically, to study in Korea for the full duration of degree or a research program. So, you will have to uh, submit a form of personal medical assessment which will be attached in this guideline as well. So, you can go over with that later on. And then, certificate of health as well. So, including na doon, dapat hindi kayo nagda-drugs. And, uh, yeah, you must be physically fit. So, meron din siyang restriction on applying to this program. So, number one, a person who have graduated a high school including international school in Korea or hold a bachelor's degree cannot apply to this program. So, if nag, uh, if nag graduate na kayo dito sa Korea ng uh, nung high school, hindi na kayo makakapag-apply nito. 
So, a person who has reasons for disqualification. So, kung na-disqualify kayo tulad ng my criminal history of traveling abroad is strictly forbidden to apply this program. So, dapat wala kayong kaso, wala kayong pinatay! Okay? Okay, and so on.